Yo, we just dropped these hoodies. We got four colorways. We got Blink, gray, brown, blue, blue, black. Live right now. And follow Strawberry Park on Instagram. Strawberry Park got store. Go shop. Our last drop sold out in two minutes, bro. Like, if y'all don't have the notifications on and watching the videos. And if you're not even following us on the Instagram. The Instagram people are getting that thing. Mm -hmm. They're seeing that text right away. They're seeing the link go live. We got more stuff coming, so just follow us and stay tuned. Oh, bro, I had so many people DM me mad that the one sold out. Like, it's not fucking fair that you dropped this stuff and we can't even get it. You trust her, bro. They do. We might redraw. We might restock we those. We might restock those. With some other colors. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Gotta but follow. you have to follow the page to find out. Go buy it. Turn us up. Jubilee. Can a hundred strangers find who has the most sex? We brought a hundred people together and it's their job to figure out which one of them has the highest body count. Everybody has a number. But our sexual histories are not just about numbers. They're intertwined with our identity, self-esteem. No, if you're a slut, you're a slut. And how we relate to each other. It's time to find the one. Are you guys ready to talk body count? Yeah. So for the first round, please leave immediately if you think you have the lowest body count in the entire room. Three, two, one. Imagine going to the video shoot to just leave on the first second. Yeah, that was uh... <laughs> That means they really know their body count. They said, all right, I'm gonna get out of here. Mine's low as fuck. So is the winner really a winner? They're gonna have to ask them the number, right? You win. How many do you have? If it's a guy, it's like, damn, brother. If it's a girl, it's like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> now it's time to discuss, but you can only talk about how you lost your virginity. Uh -huh. He's been fucking. I was 16. We both lost our virginity at the same time. And I thought energy drink was romantic, so I poured in like wine glasses. I was um, on vacation when I was 20. That's how I lost it. I was 22 and I feel like I was on the older end of yeah. like what is like societally thought. I was actually a, I guess a fairly late bloomer uh, when I started having sex. I She's gay. was actually 22 years old and it was towards the end of college and I had my first kiss and had sex at the same time. I had one other partner Damn. Uh, between then and then. Double homicide. Like 30 two years old, so I had went 10 years with just like two partners. I was on a show choir trip in Disney World. We ended up sneaking back to like our like Disney themed motel room. Okay, I already know that you're a freak. Cool choir trip to Disney and your mom's there? Said. Enough said. I personally don't subscribe to the belief that your body count means much of anything about you, because I don't think that sex necessarily needs to mean a lot about you. I feel like it's like, a, it's like a Pythagorean, I don't know. I feel like body count is a small part of sex and sex is a small part of who you are. Oh, she's been fucking, that's that. what I'm getting. She's like, well, mine's crazy high. So let me say that sex isn't really the biggest thing. <laughs> the only people that say it doesn't even matter at all and why do we even care about it? They be having the you most sex. You that to a person that has under 10, they're like, oh, yes. well, no, I pick, I'm not letting let anybody inside me or be inside anybody. Well, that's what I'm saying. It almost tells you who you are as a person if you do it a lot. Like if I take a lot of pictures outside every day, it's like, well, this guy might like photography. Like, he might be into that. You could classify him as he likes doing that. It does say something about you. Yeah. Please leave the circle if you believe you have a lower than average body count. In three, two, one. Hey, they're being straight up on this one. Nobody's trying to be like, I have the most. Okay, we have 39 people left. Damn. So for this next elimination, we need to eliminate people who believe they have average body counts. Now for this round, you can only talk about your preferences in bed or your kinks. All right, so I have no kinks, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, I'm an ass man. Okay, you're an ass man. Sure. Come on in, come on in. Carol was just telling us about I'd walk up to the girl with the ass. I, I'm an ass. We include chains, whips, yes, handcuffs. Oh. People have brought up like pegging like a lot, but I can't tell if they're joking and, and if they're just trying to like. I'm fairly vanilla myself, I gotta say. Gay men have a lot of sex. Used to be like... I need a gay man for to be a winner. Okay, guess, yeah, that's part of my vanilla. Yeah, I remember the first time a guy like tried to choke me. He didn't like warn me ahead of time, and I was like, you're like, no, what's happening right now? Butt stuff, foot stuff, and spit. This could get real weird, guys. I had a girl accidentally pee on me. That was uh, accidental. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that a lot of So if you think you have an average body count, please leave in three, two, one. 
okay? In terms of speaking about like my body count and body count as a whole, I'm probably still not really comfortable talking about it. Why though? You just said so it was yeah. crazy. You just said it wasn't, a, it doesn't matter. It doesn't define who you are, so what, why not even talk about So you it? already feel like somebody will judge you off your number. You know what I think doesn't matter? Your favorite color. I think that has no bearing on anything. She wouldn't have a problem telling her favorite color, but the same thing that she just said doesn't mean anything and doesn't, whatever. You have a problem talking about that? And then there were fewer. <laughs> What up, sluts? So for this round, we have to narrow it down. Oh, can't say that if you're a guy. <laughs> for this round, to get to know each other a little bit more, you can talk about your professions. Go ahead. Okay. Damn, the gay man's still up there. Gay brother. I'm rooting for the gay brother. And like social media stuff, you don't happen to know a chick that goes by Kazumi, do you? Oh, I know who she is, but I don't know. Uh... Oh, you know Kazumi? Hmm. I used to be in the military, now I do sales, so. I used to be a software engineer. No sex work, no sex work. Because no. I think that's what we're trying to suss out. Please only remain if you believe you're in the top 10 highest body count in the entire room. Otherwise, leave. Please leave three, if you have an STD. Two, one. Oh, that gay guy, Ben. That gay guy could be fucked. I don't think body count determines if you feel good in your body, but I think personally for me, because of trauma, it definitely helped me kind of own myself. Because I am an exotic dancer, the word slut, hoe, whore, all get thrown at me all the time. And at first it worried me because I was worried about what other people think. But as I got older, I realized Those eyes. That Those eyes. Don't matter because you don't really know what I've been through. You don't know me personally and the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing and how it makes me feel personally. <laughs> wow. Hey. I mean, you're a dancer. She probably just did a lot of fun. An time. exotic dancer. Yep. I don't even know 80 people. Damn, so she's only doing that to cover trauma? Damn that labels don't matter because you don't really know what I've been through. You don't know me personally and the reason why I'm doing- You know what you've been through. You've been through 80 men. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I was just- I mean, we don't know what you've been through, but we only know what you tell us you told us. You don't know what I've been through? Well, you just held up a sign for 80 bodies. That's what you've been through. <laughs> I'm not saying if you've been through some hard shit, I, I get it. I get it, I get it. But we at least know you've been through 80 men. <laughs> we know something. And that could be more than one time. No slut shaming, guys. No, no, Play. <laughs> Just saying those eyes tell me something. But she admitted though, she she admitted that she was broken and she has trauma. She did. Yeah, so. And I feel bad for people yeah, that no, go through true, stuff. True, true. All right, now we're on our final 10 people. So everyone go around and explain who they think the one is. I don't know, I feel like it's a- I just thought about something, I'm sorry. If you're a man with trauma, unless you're paying for it, you can't really go out and just start fucking everybody. Like you can do like the massage parlors, the, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess you could do that if a guy, but yeah. you're not having sex though. I mean, yeah, you can be like messed up in a different way, like have trauma and you can still act in a way that you can get what you want, but yeah, I don't know. You can, if you're a traumatized man from a young age, you can still have a sex addiction or sexual yeah. thing, but it's not as it's not as easy. Like if you're a girl with a trauma, you can go quickly. Yeah. Okay, so I had a conversation with Carter earlier and he told me that he was in the military, and in my experience, I know that the military men like to sleep around. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when I was 32, a uh, pandemic hit, and I was actually in a relationship at the time. Just then. But I came out as uh, gay, and I just had kind of been bottled up for you know, my entire life uh, and just like felt repressed in so many different started ways. at 22 and went uh, crazy. One of which was sexually. Oh! You got a lot of trauma. I'm 39. I mean, to be fair, as a gay, you could probably just go to WeHo and then get, you can knock about 10. I've seen a guy, a gay guy go on his app and show me like 100 dudes in five minutes that he could hit up, so. What was that circumstance that you experienced that? Well, I was with my cousin at her party and she had a gay friend. Okay. And he just talked to me and I asked him how easy it to get it and he pulled up his app and he was like, here's the radius right here. So crazy. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Can I hear from some of the gay men in the comments? What's y'all's body count? It's definitely high, but one, one, no, 139 for anyone. I you mean, break the three digits. You wouldn't even expect it from someone who talks and looks like that, I guess, but. No. He seems so sweet. Know. It's probably all the gay men think. And then they fuck him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he turns the bedroom light off and it's like, oh shit. Like, how do you know, like no one's counting as they're doing it. like. 
You could have been with one person and, and banged them. <laughs> Le Ryan's no tap. You know what? <laughs> you don't be counting? No, I, I, I'm saying I don't count like no, the each amount. time I have that's sex. That's up to like, you can, Oh, no, no, no. no, no you could be with one person and do it 150 times before y'all split ways. So that's hard. To, I'm not counting that. Yeah, imagine counting every time you did it. No, yeah, that's why. How many times do you think you've done it? I wouldn't. In your whole life. That would be an interesting number to see. Right? I don't know, man. Start writing it down for the rest of your life. I need to start. Uh -huh. I'm not when you're 90 years old. Oh my god. <laughs> I had sex. 3,000. <laughs> you're on Jubilee. 1,000. <laughs> so that was in the span of the last three years. Fuck! <laughs> so imagine the next three years. Like, if you got that in three years, bro. Justin. Wait, so he's only 25 then. Look at that smile. He's, he's like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, fucking. A collector. <laughs> Oh, he's going. He's a soul snatcher. He's going to 500. In 10 years, he's going to be at 1,000. Yeah. He's going to the moon. Damn. Now, this is anecdotal because we just saw one girl and we just saw one guy. The one girl with 80 looked broken. This brother looked like he got 1,000 more in him. And they yeah. both said they had trauma, right? Or was it just that girl? I think it's trauma from being gay and like holding that in or whatever. Oh, he did say that. So he still has trauma. Trauma's yeah. trauma. But he looked like, can I get some more? He, he wants to go right now. That's what I'm saying. Men have the propensity, like they can fuck like that. Yeah, it looks like he just won the lottery. Like he's taking a picture with the check. Where is he held at? He's also gay though, so I don't know. Just men, the way they're able to spread their seed, it doesn't affect them emotionally as much having sex. No, he wants a thousand bodies tonight. I don't know. You don't know what's behind that smile. You're right. <laughs> Avery. Did I wear my sluttiest garb today? <laughs> Does anyone here know what a fet life is? Oh, oh what the fuck, brother? He into some crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Oh, I'm not explaining, but yeah. Like, I can so, me. I think he answered the question for me. <laughs> oh, Lara. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lara. Oh. Oh, shit. Is that a fraction? What, is that a math problem? Oh, she got lucky number two. Not the angel numbers. It cancels out if it's an angel number, though, I think. Wait, I think you're right. I need to reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. 222? Think about that. I'm not, look, I'm not saying this is bad. I'm just saying, wow, that's a lot of sex. On first instinct, I would have said Jesse, but now that Frank was talking about fat life, which I have no idea what that is. Look, fat life? <laughs> like fetish or something? <laughs> I think it's Avery. You know what? I don't want to know what that is. So that tells me you must like it long, too. <laughs> um, well, Frank very confidently asserted that it was him, so it could be him. Statistically, I'm like several. What the? Oh, 250. I hate be Am I just that ugly where it's like, because to me, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> like 30, right? He could be 34. You don't know. Like, if I dedicated my life, I couldn't get that many. I believe it because I feel like a lot of girls, majority of girls, would think that this guy is like just I attractive, agree. you know? I agree. And he also seems like someone that would be down to just go party all the time and hang out with people. So it's like, he's already put himself out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out there. He puts himself out there. Like, he'll be at the bars every And again, we don't know which type of girls. It could be any girl. If you double in a gay man's numbers, then again, then you can lie. You can cap, though. Yeah, you All can. of these can be capped. I can lie my ass off to be to the end of the video, mm -hmm. more screen time. You can't contact all 450 of my bodies, which I don't have. <laughs> it's above the mean, for sure. But also, I was talking to Avery about her profession, and she was talking about uh, her friend, Kazumi, who, like, popped up on my TikTok feed, and she talks about how she, d she does sex uh, professionally. And, like, I think a lot of it. She's, like, very popular. <laughs> and, like, maybe through, like, you guys might know each other from work or something like that. So, uh, Frank or Frank or Avery? Um, I would guess Frank or Laura. And that girl be I fucking. Could also, no, no offense, no offense, no offense, but Miss Yvette, I want to put you in my top yeah. three because I feel. Yeah. I feel. Wait, what? That's because I'm older than everyone. Well, least the older one. She be doing like the swinger fun. shit. I feel like you've just. I feel like you have fun. I, I have fun. Yeah, you you I see fun. You're in my top three. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It seems like you guys all wanted to- It seemed like she said no offense, but only to the girl. When she said, I think the girl might have a lot, but no offense though. To vote for Frank. Do we agree that Frank is the one? Yes. Time to find out if Frank is the one. Horny yeah. ass motherfucker. Fat life, what the fuck? If the light is green, you are the one. He knows he's, he's at the top. Red. Look at him. Like. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. 
I need to hear some backstory or something. With the music. Oh. It's like some Hunger Games shit. I like how all he had to do for them to make him win was hey, fat life. You ever heard of Fet Life? Everyone said, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he said that. You like, got it, man. <laughs> oh, you all don't know about Fet Life? <laughs> Go ahead and do your ranking. <laughs> Fuck with that roll. What the fuck? Come on, fat life. <laughs> so Frank, you are actually not the one. How do you feel? Mm, different. <laughs> hey, this guy's mysterious. Uh, you know, for people who are like really into the kink world, uh, you know, looks can be very deceiving. Oh no. Oh. I would have assumed somebody there had three digits, and if you had 66, why would you even choose yourself? How was he standing at the end? Because the way he was standing on that podium, he was standing there like, <laughs> <laughs> looks like you guys could actually figure it out. <laughs> yeah. I think in his friend group, he has the most, like it's a crazy number of 66. So when he came here, he thought he was gonna be at top. Time to find out who the one really is. The one. Shit. It's her, it's the blue girl. It's the host. <laughs> is Avery Jane. Please step forward. Hey, I was right. Hey, you win. <laughs> you fucked the most. So what do you think this game taught us? Um, that you can't really like look in a room full of people and tell who's like the sluttiest or has the highest body count or make any assumptions about anyone's sexuality. You would know that okay. before going in, yeah. which is funny. So you're just kind of exposing yourself, but whatever. So Avery, would you be comfortable sharing your body count? So at this point, I don't actually know my exact body count. I stopped keeping track. It's like definitely over a thousand for sure. Yeah, I do. I am an adult performer and actress. Okay. What? Um, so I get around a lot. <laughs> thank you for sharing and thank you guys for being here and thanks for watching. <laughs> Find me on the hub. Y'all cheering now, but if that was your daughter. Yeah, imagine her dad watching this. I ain't saying, hey, you can do porn. I, I'm familiar with many porn stars. Do y'all thing. But a thousand? A thousand, though. I know porn stars and they ain't at a thousand. A thousand? Like, don't you look at somebody like kind of dirty after? Like, or is that mean? It's it's not because no, the rampant not. spread of disease that you can get. Like, from I'm sticking. just looking out for safety reasons, even. Like, if you were talking to someone and they came up to you and, and they said, yeah, I've been with a thousand people, I'm instantly gonna think, like, okay, I don't want to, I don't want no, to do anything that's sexually crazy, with this no, person. That's crazy. No. Yes. Great. Right. I like to imagine that Jubilee purposely ups the wildness to keep us entertained. <laughs> that guy has two girls in 10 years, went gay and had 137 in two years, crazy. Hate that they edited out when Avery told us over a thousand plus, we dropped to the floor screaming. I was about to say, why is everyone so calm? Cause when, even when you're at a thousand or whatever, like what doesn't counting even matter anymore at that point? That's when the girl, that's when they need to be saying after a thousand, that's when it doesn't matter. But they, yeah. <laughs> Quick, Dowie? I'm a virgin, so I can talk for me to you. Call me your number. <laughs> Rush it. Call me your body count. Peace. Peace.